Hey, what's up, what's up? What's going on, man? This video today, we're basically going to be talking about how to get your Florida Concealed Carry Permit, right? Um, how to get your Florida Concealed Carry Permit. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. How to get your Florida Concealed Carry Permit. So, um, I recently applied for my concealed carry permit, um, a few months ago. Actually, I have my documents right here in front of me. Mm, it was on, uh, what day was it? It was the 2nd of April, actually, when I did my fingerprint. So, a couple of things, uh, how this basically works in the state of Florida. Um, first of all, you don't need your concealed carry to purchase a handgun. Or a gun, period. Because I bought, I think it was two guns before I even had my concealed carry. I went ahead and I applied for it. Um, uh, I think it was the Department of Agri I mean, Department of Agriculture, right? And then um, I was lucky because there's an office right here where I'm at in Orlando, but because of COVID, they're permanently closed down. So I ended up having to do everything online now also keep in mind this is for veterans too i'm a veteran right ten and a half year veteran um so i didn't have to do like a concealed uh, a firearms course or any of that stuff because i've got tons of firearms training of shot weapons man i probably put 20 50 000 rounds down range um between training maybe more than that probably 100 000 200 000 rounds between training and actual combat i've done five and a half years uh five and a half tours five and a half what am i saying i did five tours to between afghanistan and iraq over a five-year period five and a half years basically um so half my military career i was deployed to afghanistan and iraq um so i didn't really need any background on the training per se as far as far as how to handle a uh, firearm um i can share some insight with you on the firearms that i do own right now uh, i'm going to be doing some training on them so if you're new to uh, guns period, the firearms period, and if you're looking to get some training on that, stay tuned. Click down below in the description. I'm going to have some training for you so you can actually take advantage of that. So Commissioner Nicole Nikki Freed, you need to get to know who that is. She's a very serious, important woman. She actually just suspended a whole bunch of people's um their license uh, that were involved in the insurrection in, in, in Congress. I know this is totally unrelated, but... It just goes to show how serious they are about um, gun violence and, and being uh, legal and legit. Um, I, I came to the website and um, I just wanted to, this is literally, literally what I did. I wanted to get my uh, concealed carry. So I just come on here and I just, dun, 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 dun. renewal, nope. I want to get the actual non-resident, what is that? Concealed carry license renewal for the rest of the nope. It should be. It should be right here. Hold on. Let me just do a quick search. All right. So for me, first off, it kind of blew my mind that I had to go to the Department of Agriculture to get a license. But that's how, just how they do it. Um, hold on. This is concealed carry. Here we go. Boom. So I just came here, right? Check your application status. Um, I can probably show you my application status. Let me see. My tracking number should be in there already. It is. Uh, hang it one, four, seven, six, two, seven, three, six, five. Oh, let me do this. All right, so you can see, so my license was issued on 6-11-2021. All right, so I got it already. So you can come to the website to check your status of it if um, you just want to get an update. But this is how I did it. I came here. I literally just filled out, applied for concealed, clicked on this link, applied for concealed carry. I'll put that link down below in the description for you to make it easy. And, I mean, I read all this. I did it online. So it says Florida Concealed 
or firearm license class D for security officer license. So you may submit a new application for following Florida license on this website, Florida Concealed Carry. Boom, boom, boom. So, all right, boom. So I clicked on that, conceal, ca conceal weapon firearm license application for state of Florida. So you may apply for a concealed carry firearm license on this website. Boom, boom, boom. Read through all this. So when you go to apply for it, uh, there's like a couple fees you got to pay. It's really not that expensive. It's pretty cheap, which is kind of scary when you think about it. But that's just the way it's set up, you know? All right, so you fill all this stuff out, right? Be honest on this on it with all this information. Um, fill all this out to the best of your ability. Once this is done, you affirm it complete. Man, it's probably like fifty bucks. If it's that much, it's a lot. To be honest, it's way it's somewhere around that ballpark. There's no more than fifty, sixty dollars at that. You fill that out. Once you do that, um, I think they email you or something in between there, and then. Oh no! Once you fill this out, you have to go and take your fingerprints, and they'll give you. They'll tell you, hey, you need to get digital fingerprints. Get that done. So I ended up having to go to the in in Orlando. I went to the uh, the Edgewood uh, the Edgewood Police Department, and they did digital fingerprints. So let's do a quick recap. So to get your license, one, uh, let's just drop some ground, ground rules. No felonies. No felonies. First of all. You're not going to get approved, so no felonies, right? Two, um, two, this is because I'm a veteran. I didn't have to take a training course. You will need to take some kind of firearms training, right, to get certified. Certi certified, right, to, to how to operate a firearm. So you're going to have to do that. You can do that locally, um, and then you're gonna have to apply online at the Depart Department of Agriculture. Agriculture. <laughs> right, you apply online, pay the fee. Once you pay that fee, then the next step is you have to get your fingerprints. Um, and in Orlando, you can you can search online, search on Google, find out where in your area you can get digital fingerprints done. Um, it doesn't take that long. I scheduled mine in March, and I got my appointment online by, my appointment was on 4, so it was April 2nd. I did my fingerprints. I'm looking right at it right now. Um, I went in there. I, I did my fingerprints. It literally took two minutes if it took that long. She did my fingerprints, and then she gave me a little card. I don't remember if I paid a fee or so. I think I probably did like $30 if it was that much. Um, and then she was like, yeah, I had to go and I got to do the background check. So she gave me a, my, a copy of my fingerprints that says void on it with my name, everything highlighted. And then you got to go to this website. It's like caps.fdle.state.fl.us forward slash caps to complete your payment for your background check. They do your background check. Um, once you make your payment online, they do your background check. From that on, it's like mine took... 6 six eleven, like you saw so from april 2nd to 6 11 that's april may so two months it literally took a little over two months like eight and a half weeks it took for me to get my concealed carry and um that was that so it's a fairly simple process especially if you're a, a veteran if you're a veteran then you can for vets void you just need a duty two duty two fourteen for vets you upload that onto the website that will be equivalent for your firearms training and you're good to go it's literally just a waiting game you pay the fees and then you're done so um nothing really big special crazy about it you just got to make sure you don't have no felonies firearms training or dd214 for veterans it was very easy for me i uploaded everything online came back boom 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 and it was done uh, i got my my license so me I wanted to make sure I had it because I carry all the time, and I just wanted to make sure that I'm legal, safe, and legit. Whoa, what? Um, I just wanted to make sure that I'm legal, I'm safe, and, and so forth. So, like, um, just to give you a little insight, uh, if you if you care to check it out, um, all right, this is one of the firearms that I that I have right now. I'll be doing some training on it. This is the actual. This is what my yeah. This is the actual one I have. 
with the extended clip. So I'll do some training on that. Um, break that down and show you some cool stuff with that. Then I have a, uh, I have a FN 509C Tactical. <laughs> and I love this gun because I, ha I actually had one of these when I was in the Army. Not one of these, but one similar to it. This is the actual pistol that I have right now. I love this gun. A thousand dollars, man. I, I actually have a, uh, dragon a dragonfly in mine and we'll talk about that some more i love this because it comes with the cool 50 round clip very accurate handgun very man, i love this we'll talk about that more in depth um so you can this is definitely one you want to purchase i could probably get you a better price on that so get with me and i'll find out if i definitely can and hook you up um another one i have is uh i'll just show you real quick um clock 43 uh, I got a Glock 43 and mine is damn they don't even have one like that on yeah well this is what it kind of looks like mine's like a custom piece it's kind of like this but 10 it's kind of like that but 10 um, I like it because it's cool it's small it's lightweight but you only get seven rounds which I don't really like that too much. That's cool with the suppressor on there. I don't really like that too much. What I like is the Hellcat because I get like 14 and I have a Glock 19 as well. On tactical. Mine's tactical. Yeah, I got the tactical version. Um, Hold up. This is the actual one I got. I had one similar to this too when I was serving. This, I love it, man. It's accurate is I don't know what I love shooting this gun I really enjoy it I keep it with me just about all the time when I'm out the house so don't try nothing because I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have this lens and lead I'm gonna have this with me you know what I mean um what's the other one I have I have a EC9 from Ruger I got a Ruger EC9 Ruger EC yeah I got the 9s just basic this one just it's like the basic one. I got this one right here. Nothing crazy. Um, I just like it just to keep it in the car. It doesn't really ever get out the car. It's always in the car. So don't run up on me. Don't do that. Um, and then I also have... I got way more, but I'm going to show you a few that I got. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the rest. That's all I'm going to show you for this video. But definitely one of my favorites. But this is literally the steps that I took to get my concealed carry. Just gotta remember, no felonies. They're not giving it to felons. Um, you gotta have firearm training if you're civilian. DD two fourteen for vets. You can apply online at the Department of Agriculture. It takes about sixty plus days, less than seventy days. Hopefully, you should have your your uh, concealed carry and be legal and safe. So, stay tuned, man. In my next video, I'm gonna talk a little more about some of the gun laws coming up in the state of Florida. Your rights, how to actually uh transport guns in and out the state of florida things that you can do and should not do with your guns um always keep them on you first of all there are some do's quick do's and don'ts always be ready you know what i mean that's the one quick do's, do's and always keep your gun clean um and just get familiar with it dry fire get get comfortable with it just so you can be safe safety's key you know what i mean safety 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 that's my biggest thing safety so with that said i hope this video provided some value for you I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to answer some questions for you. If not, get with me. Leave some comments down below. Um, let me know any questions you have. Get with me on Instagram. I respond very quickly. So that way I can help you get, you can protect yourself. Because um, this is just so much crazy violence out there. 230 people got killed just 4th of July weekend in 2021. Just from firearms, you know what I mean. From so, just 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 something to help you be a little more safe, and I want you to be safe with guns in your home, um, so that way you can protect yourself, your family, and not have to worry about anything. So, with that said, my name is Leonidas Gist. I hope this really helped. Like this video, comment below, tag a friend, share it for me on your social media. Um, help me help me out to get this message out there to help people be more safe with firearms and. Uh, let you know where you can get firearms at great affordable prices and be legal and be safe in 2021 and beyond anyway man it was great talking to you i hope this made some sense like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace